So I know a little bit of Malayalam. Mm -hmm. Are you shocked? I am you should be shocked. shocked. I'm stunned. I'm I shocked. know. I, I know. My hair when you right. <laughs> yeah, that's how <laughs> I'm going to throw a few lines out there. Are you ready? This is what I know. Okay. Um, I know. Brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. I love you. Right. That is brilliant. Absolutely right. I've got brilliant. another one. <laughs> What's that one mean? That's definitely not I love you. No. <laughs> what does it mean? That means I want to take a double. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? It's Sheba. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> What's up guys? Good morning. I am here for another special episode of She Shaves. Now, I've got a new friend here. His name is Bob and James. Did I say it right? Absolutely right. Bob yeah. and James. What a cool name, right? Now, you are here for a very special reason today because we're actually shooting mm -hmm. with you. Now, Bobbin is a photographer and has done some exceptional work. We, Satori and I were going through some of your work online, your website, your portfolios, and wow, it's so impressive. Thank you. Um, we loved, obviously, Satori and I, you may not know this, we love to travel. Mm -hmm. So we were particularly taken with some of the stuff that you've done abroad and the people that you have captured. Tell us a little bit about why you got into photography and what is the draw card to bring you sort of abroad and capturing people from different cultures? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the compliments, first of all. And I must say I'm quite intimidated to be sitting on the <laughs> other end of the camera. It's usually me sitting behind the camera. Uh, but I think for me, photography was really because of a love of travel sure. and it also uh, it is also something that came from my mom who was the photographer in the family. Right. Like she was a hardcore amateur photographer who would just keep shooting you know, rolls and rolls of film. Wow. And I think she kind of passed on that love to me and I picked it up from her. Nice. And for me, photography was a way to kind of travel with you know new perspective and my job used to get me to travel quite a lot so I used right. to do a lot of travel photography back in the day yeah. and uh, I, I always felt like the camera was a passport into people's lives mm, and when you I take the that. well actually this was originally said by a photographer that I really admire a guy called Joe McNally but mm. I, I, I've kind of internalized it I mm. think and when I used to take my camera and travel to all these exotic foreign lands mm. you know you form a certain connection with somebody else whom you're trying to photograph. Yes. And I love that part about photography. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an image that you've captured that is your most precious? Um, yes, I think this was back in 2006. I was uh, up in the Indian Himalayas mm -hmm. in a place called uh, Ladakh. I don't know if you okay. remember it. I right up north. Uh, the landscape is very stark. Uh, there's a lot of Tibetan culture there, right. so you have all these dark mountains, it's like the moonscape out there, but very dramatic light, yes. you know, beautiful shadows. And uh, a friend and I, we were outside this monastery, we saw a bunch of uh, young Buddhist monks playing out there. Right. And the colours, you know, the colours of their robes against the starkness of their landscape. And the whole playfulness that they had against again the starkness of the landscape it was very dramatic mm. and I was shooting film at the time and you know you don't really know what you get until you've developed it yes and when I went back home and got it developed I was blown away by the colors and the wow. composition and everything you know? wow. so that's like a favorite photo of mine uh, that's probably the only photo of mine that I hang up at home right <laughs> <laughs> so maybe if we're fortunate today you're going to capture some, some shots and right. Satori and I are going to be in your living room. I would love to, yeah. Yeah! You, you, you guys would definitely brighten up my <laughs> living room, that's for sure. <laughs> now, I am in the bold beauty market. Yes. Is this quite shocking for you to see a woman coming in today as a model with a bald head? I'm not shocked. Okay. Uh, I'm actually, I think, I like to see myself as someone who's receptive to people with all sorts of looks. And I yeah. think, for me, the more, uh, the more dramatic, the more better. Yeah. And I've actually done a whole series on people uh, 
uh, on women who had the undercut. Yeah. And this happened when I met somebody once and she had the school undercut and I said, hey, you know, can I just photograph you? Yeah. And then this whole thing started this train of thought where I thought, why not, you know, reach out to other people with an undercut? Yes. So I'm happy that you've gone from the undercut to like a Yeah, meet. we've taken it and run with it. <laughs> Extreme undercut yeah. situation. Yeah, I love it. The women that you photographed for that series with the undercut, did you find them to be very confident or did this haircut in itself change something in them? I think they were, like, I, I feel like, you know, we live in a society which is generally where, you know, people tend to be conformists. Mm. You don't stand out as much, yes. right? Uh, I think the interesting th thing about all these women was that they were very aware obviously of the undercut mm. and some of them had tattoos and everything and even the dressing and everything they just stood out mm. and I think it to me it speaks of confidence right. and having a certain self-belief about the way you look and the way you want to project yourself yeah. out in the world right? and yes. I really admire that about yeah. them. Me too, me too. Well, Bobbin, there is something that I like to do at the end of my interviews because I've learned a little bit about you mm -hmm. and some of the people watching have learned a little bit about you. But we tend to enjoy shaving over this side <laughs> uh, of the studio. So I'm thinking maybe, can I shave your head? Yeah, well, there's not much left to shave, but uh, you're welcome to have a Yes! Yeah. Brilliant! Okay, <laughs> let's dress you up. I am prepared and ready. <laughs> Now it gets into me. Now, yeah, here we go. This is the big yeah. moment. Right. Okay, I am going to cover you. All right. Because I feel like this is the most crucial part of any head shave, is making sure it doesn't get in your clothing. Right. Bobbin, have you had it ever run down into your t-shirts and then it prickles like nothing else? When I shave myself, that's that, that's what. That's I your think. situation, that's your predicament. Happens. Yeah, that's my predicament. Well, today it's not going to happen because you, <laughs> everyone, I've almost choked him actually. I think I should call you every every week for my. Yeah, that's shave. right. First of all, I need to check: can you actually breathe? Uh, I can. You yeah. can. Yeah. I'm not, not going to die on this uh, chair. Trust me. <laughs> I hope not. Please don't die. Okay, we are using, guys, my very favorite. All right. We have a brawn. Oh, I have a brawn mm -mm. too. Do you? Does yours look as sexy as mine? Uh, no, mine's very uh, industrial. Well, I see this, this is this is like no joke, serious shaving. Okay, guys, brawn S seven. It is time to clean up Bob's head here before we do this shoot today. Are you ready? Absolutely. I'm pretty nervous. I've never been ready. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Is it going to pick up? Yes or no? Is there anything left to shave? There's a lot to shave, but whether or not we can pick it up, we are. Otherwise, you're going to have a very unusual hairstyle for the rest of the day. I can live with that. Well, Bob, I'm glad you're feeling confident because right now, we could have a fail. Often we have fails. We try many different things and sometimes it doesn't work. I suspect we need a trimmer, not our shaver. Probably need a we, we can non more like I was telling you guys. <laughs> Let me just get the lawnmower out of my car. We can do that. Okay, it's working at the back. So at the back we're good. And we're back guys, and I am here with my second device for today. Bob, your hair was just like too crazy for my last one. So we're going in with this beautiful. Oh. We've got to name her. Maybe you can think of a name for me while I get going. Uh, you ready? Uh, yeah. Here okay. we go. I'm gonna do your eyebrows first. Oh my God. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. I hope I don't hurt you. Oh, no, yes, no. this is exactly what we needed people we needed a trimmer attachment gold skull pro stepped in in our hour of need now we've got a few options here with hair design we could leave you a big runway down the center or we could leave you a smiley happy face at the back <laughs> 
I feel like photographers are generally pretty creative people, mm -hmm. and you all will try anything. I'm okay, actually. Oh, Bob, don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with something rude on the back of your head. <laughs> Old Skull Pro literally going straight through this. That's what it feels to like you shave my hair. Yeah, you're like a two-step guy. You need a trim first. We had a bit too much length there. Look, I have made this rookie mistake many times thinking that it was short enough, mm -hmm. but then I get stuck. But we have come prepared for anything. I can see that. Does it hurt, Bob? Not at all. Really? It's actually very smooth. Wow. Well, we know what you need to put on your Christmas wish list. <laughs> you could get any passerby to do this. It's so easy. Mm -hmm. Can I feed my dog to do this? Yeah, man. Yeah. Now that would make for a good video. <laughs> Dogs can do that. They could put it in their mouth and who knows what you're going to get. Alrighty. See, this is the stuff we get up to on She Shaves. Pretty fun, right? Awesome, yeah. And imagine when we have female guests. <laughs> They're like, what is happening? So do they get shocked when they see them too? Well, actually, I've got to be honest with you. We have never done a female's head shave mm. on she shaves. But I am hopeful that that exciting day is to come. Okay, I think... shake out like a dog. Woo, 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 woo. Should I do it? One of those things, Fern. I didn't bring any of the brushes. Next time, guys. I won't let you down next time, people. I claim to be a traveling barber, but really I'm not, and I don't I don't have all the gear, so we need to work on that. But a cape is a good start. Alrighty guys, I think Bobbin has been cleaned up a little bit here. We're going to do a little bit of post-shave de-hairing, if you will. But for now, Gold Skull Pro has saved us just now. Thank you so much. Everyone that's watching, thank you for tuning in. Bobbin, it is a pleasure to have you on She Shaves today. Next time you'll be back for your eyebrows, your legs, your, your arms, I don't know, wherever there's hair, we can do it. Um, but right. until next time, everyone, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Just uh, hit us up with All the right. correct. Yeah. So you don't remember what, so I, I teach you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you for a line. You want to teach me? Okay. You're going to tell me what it means, okay. and I'm going to ask you what it means. Okay. So I know a little bit of Malayalam. Mm -hmm. Are you shocked? I am You should be shocked. shocked. I'm stunned. I'm I shocked. know, I, I know. I lost all my hair. Right. Yeah, that's all <laughs> I'm going to throw a few lines out there. Are you ready? This is what I know. Okay. Um, I know. Brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. I love you. Right? 
That is brilliant. Right. Absolutely I've brilliant. got another one. Eniki <laughs> turanu. What's that one mean? That's definitely not I love you. No. Do <laughs> what does it mean? That means I want to take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good icebreaker, I'm sure. I good. Know. That's yeah, yeah, just the one to come in with when you're meeting your family and whatnot Absolutely. in India. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Bob, it's your big moment to teach me a phrase in Malayalam that I can go out there in the world and share with all my friends and family. All right. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. So what you should say is ningal de. Ningal de. Amma. Amma. Oru. 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 That one's hard. Oru. Oh. Oru. <laughs> Oru. Chittu. <laughs> Chittu. Like, shit maker, Chittu. <laughs> Chittu. 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 Pinna. Anna. Anna. I will remember. Okay, okay, say it again for me. Ningal de. Ningal de. Amma. Amma. Oru. Oru. Working on it. <laughs> Chittu. Chittu. That one. <laughs> Pigna. Yes. Anna. What am I saying? You're saying that your mother is extremely hot. Yes! yes. That is what I want to come in with. Alright guys, that is us with our Malayalam. I'll be practicing. I obviously need to practice. But thank you, Bob. Thank See you. you soon. See you soon. Bye guys.